My drive is just my passion for the game. It's what I love doing, it's what I love playing. I will always be the best that I can be. She has that expectation for herself and I think that's why she achieves so much. It's definitely been a journey and it's not stopping. She knows what she wants. She knows that it's not gonna be an easy road and so therefore she's gonna to have to put the work into it. I wanna be a professional soccer player. It's always been just that's what I want to do, and nothing's going to stop me from reaching that goal. My name is Bella Ballard, and I'm a soccer player. Begin. Begin. Back. Begin. I started playing soccer when I was about four years old. I love everything about it. When I'm on the field, I'm hyper-focused on what I have to do. I'm not just going out there to have fun. I have a goal set, and I need to reach that goal by the end of the game session or practice. Now attack, attack. Yeah. Yep. Begin. Boom, boom. Yes. There you go. There we go. Started working with Bella when she was seven, and she's the kid I'm going to tell you're training too much. You know, on, on Bella's bad days, it's going to be just as good as someone else's good day. Come on. Check that angle. There you go. Well, I think what separates Bella from her peers is the amount of work that she puts in and the quality of work that she puts in. Her work ethic scares me. Here again. Yep. Back. Where she is now, she's the player that you dump it to when you're under pressure. Where I wanted to get is that fearful player as well, like that. She picks the ball and she's just gonna take your soul. Now get across, rip. I would say I am a technical player. I always look to make the best of every situation, whether that's in a really tight spot with three players on me, or I have 10 yards of space. A little bit lighter on that step. Don't, don't smash that foot down. There you go. Can she be a professional player? Absolutely. But it's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of discipline. Has she got all the attributes? Absolutely. Yeah, she can go far. I am from Hawaii, but I mainly train in California. And the first time I actually thought about moving out to California for soccer, I was, I think, eight. That was when I saw a whole bunch of high-level players, and I said I wanted to be like them. I want to be even better than them. And I didn't see that happening in Hawaii because I wasn't really getting pushed. I was being told you're too small, you can't really play. So I asked my parents and they said, let's try it out, let's do this. What a lot of people don't understand is Bella's mom, her grandparents, her sister, her bed is 3,000 miles away. And so Bella has sacrificed a lot for what she has gotten. But at the end of the day, she's happy. She loves doing it. We've never seen her being intimidated by anybody else to change who she is. I think that's the biggest thing of why we have given her the opportunity to do this and why she seeks it is because she's the one driving it. My workout begins pretty early in the morning. I try and do some core, planks, push-ups, and sit-ups. And if I have time, I'll either do squats or lift rocks or weights. Go Kick Rocks is a slogan um, just my family and I use. It means just, I don't care what you say, I'm doing what I'm doing. When she was in second grade, their teacher made them write down what I want to be when I grow up. And she wrote professional soccer player. From that day, She's never wavered. And we started to see traits of waking up early, doing those extra sit-ups. That just doesn't happen. The thing that separates Bella from other players at her age and ability level is she's self-reliant. And she's the kid who's going to get up at 6 a.m. to go and train. I run out here on the canyons every so often because the surfaces are unpredictable, there's rocks everywhere, so I need to be able to adapt to my footing, I need to be able to shift my body in different ways, and I, I need to be able to move faster. You have to be able to work out when no one's watching, when you don't want to, because that's what's gonna separate you from the next player. Nutrition is a big part of my game. It gives me energy, it helps me just be in the right mindset. Eating has definitely helped me on the field. Like if I eat something like a smoothie in the morning before practice, I feel just more energized, I feel just ready to go. 
I watch soccer in the morning with my dad just to start the day off right. I know the day's gonna be just full of soccer and just full of training, so I always wanna start it off on the right foot and just get a feel of the game, watch it a little bit, and just take notes. I go to online school. I've been doing that since I've been in fifth grade. School is very important for me. I wanna go to a top college and I wanna play soccer there, so my academics need to be at the highest level they can be. And I have soccer in the afternoon, usually until 10, 11 at night. Yes, step or scissor, good. Drag, finish. Make the, the chop, make yeah. it stop for a second. Like, okay. instead of looking to just keep going forward, keep going forward, hit this part, stop it. And then see if you can do an in-out snake. Uh, I met Chris in 2014 at a soccer camp. He was my coach and we just quickly bonded over soccer and the game. I've met so many people through traveling with soccer. I've met coaches, I've met new players, new friends, and it's just been amazing. Uh, right now I'm working with Chris on movement off the ball, playing one and two touch, and beating players 1v1 and getting a shot on goal. She's a phenomenal worker. I know for sure like nine out of nine kids that I train would quit with doing the stuff that Bella would do. But Bella is like in her own category where she's not gonna quit and she's gonna keep working. Training with a whole bunch of different coaches and teams definitely make me a, a well-rounded player. Yeah, ready, go. Yep. Good. Head up, head up. Bella knows what she wants and so because she knows what she wants, she knows what she has to do to get it and that is a, it's an everyday thing. She knows that when you step on the field, this needs to be your demeanor, this needs to be your work ethic and you need to get results. Money, money, again, come on, come on, again, again, yes. Okay, good, yes, good. back. Good. On the field, I'm really competitive. That really shines through both on and off, but on the field, I don't take anything from anybody and I'm hyper-focused on winning and doing the best I can. Good stuff. You done? It's four. It's not four. Yeah. Do one more shooting drill. One more shooting drill? Soccer is a big part of my life, but it's not the only thing in it. It's definitely important to be a kid. So I think being able to bond with my family and my sister by doing other things is really important. When they are together, we urge them, of course, to spend time. You know, you want that bond to be there. You know, when she steps on the field, you know, she's definitely like work, 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 but then can still, like, she knows when to sprinkle in her humor. So she still knows how to have fun with that. You have to enjoy it. You can't just go through the motions and continue doing what you think you have to do. And that's what I love about soccer is pushing myself and feeling exhausted after, but still wanting to go maybe three more reps. Her situation is hard. I think back of when I was 13, 14 years old, and I don't think I could have handled this. You have to be built a certain way, and therefore it, that surprises me. It, it surprises and it also builds respect. She's pretty incredible. A lot of people tell me just to slow down, take time off, but this is my passion, this is what I love to do. So I don't really feel like I need to. I just love it too much.